Ready when you are. I'm ready. Um, so I was taking uh, Nick Tay's logo and putting it onto this really cool um, uh, backpack here so that we could uh, see you know, what this would look like with Creative Pro. I lost it in Stager. So what I can do is go to the Stager, choose File, Export, and Save as a GLB file, which is a 3D file format. You can get 3D files from lots of online places, get them for free. You can download them from um, uh, 3D Marketplace anyway. So what I want to do is I want to put this into my PowerPoint presentation, but I don't want to take up room in my main slides. I want to sort of add it to the end, and I want to make it sort of uh, look interesting. So what I did is I took a group of slides, and I grouped them into a section down here. So let's go over to this section here. So what I'm going to do is let's come in here. Let's grab that GLB file. Let's drag it right into PowerPoint. It's all cool in 3D, so check that out. I know. So let's copy that. Let's go to the next page. And so I really want to show off how cool this looks. So let me zoom out. Let me scale up really big, move this into place. I really want to show off the screen printing that this company said they could do. That looks awesome. Copy that. Let's go to the next slide. I set a morph transition on all of these slides. So when I play this, this is going to look amazing. It's got super cool comfy straps. Last one, let's hit paste. We want to really show off those zippers. They look super cool. Let's animate this around here. Scale this up a little bit. And finally, let's grab the position of the last one and put that on slide four. So I have these four slides here that are part of a section, but my slides start off with section one, two, three, so I don't want to mess up the main flow of my presentation. So I'll go to slide one, come up here to the zoom settings, and I'm going to come down here and choose section zoom. What that does is it allows me to pick any section, and I can play this over top of my current slides. So I can create a nonlinear interactive experience inside of PowerPoint. I'll click that swag idea. Let's hit OK. Insert. Goes right into place. Let's do our presentation. So in the presentation, I can go to the next slide. I'm on slide two, slide three, slide two, slide one. But from slide one, I can use my mouse and I can click on this. That section's going to play over top. I'm still technically on slide one, but we're looking at slide six. And now I can animate through my individual slides and take a look at this amazing backpack that maybe someday we can have made. <laughs> Get to the last stage, back one more, back to my original first slide. Wow! <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.